So my, I've been in Austin for about 33 years and I study architecture at, at the UT Austin. And um, I don't have a background in technology. I think a lot of our projects are culturally driven. So I think I'm gonna speak a little bit about um, maybe bridging between art and technology, um, which is, you know, there's been a lot of talks about about AI and, and uh, um, high tech. And so I think, um, you know, Austin is a city of oxymoron because we have Tesla and we have these high tech factories, but then Austin also has the slackwood culture because, you know, people joke about Austin is a place where young people come to retire. <laughs> and so I think we, you know, we sort of navigate between those two extremes. And um, this is a 9% tax credit affordable housing project. So a lot of our focus is on affordability, uh, trying to deliver um, high design. And um, this is another project that we've been involved with on the Bible Crown uh, in uh, West Austin near DK's. It's about two and a half million square foot project. And our client was interested in recreating, you know, something like, uh, in Denver they have Red Rock. So this is a project that has about 12,000 seat capacity, an outdoor uh, amphitheater. And this is, this is an early, so we, we've been in East Austin for about 20 years and we tend to urban pioneer a little bit from working with some of the, the tech startup houses in the East Side. Um, so uh, creating urban infill projects that uh, activate you know, East Austin when we started 20 years ago was a very neglected uh, area. Now it's the second most expensive. Um, we, we designed, built, and developed the first uh, Class A office in East Austin on Shady Lake. This is a 65,000 square foot building on about two acres. Um, you know, initially we were working with companies like Flow Sports, which are a small tech company that uh, aimed to become you know, a little bit like the ESPN uh, sports or alternative sports. So when we did this project, everyone thought we were crazy. Why are you building a Class A office piece of I-35? And we spoke to a lot of banks, but nobody was interested. So I think we were, we tend to be maybe three to five years ahead of the curve, but now it's, we're seeing companies like Endeavor and uh, Cairo and major players, Lincoln Properties in East Austin doing Class A properties. Um, this is another project we've been fortunate enough to be involved with, with John Paul DeJuria. Um, it's about a three million square foot uh, development in, in D Cave. Uh, it's called the Backyard Project. And this is a project where uh, you know, is bridging you know, the 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 the, um, the anchor is the, the backyard. It's a it's an old Austin music venue, um, and then at the same time you you have uh, um, data centers, and there were uh, you know proposals to have micro turbine for the for the powering of this facility. So it's a it's a marriage between between the old Austin and kind of new technology. And um, this is a, uh, 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 an affordable housing project, a workforce housing project, 50% uh, affordable that we partnered with Travis County with Strategic uh, Housing Finance Incorporation, um, about 316 units uh, in East Austin, uh, right by the airport. We were also fortunate enough to be involved with uh, uh, the second phase master planning of CODA. Um, we were working with a, a developer from Houston and also with Bobby Epstein um, on a, a luxury car club uh, as well as boutique hotel and car condos. Um, it's a it's a 1,200 acre uh, site that, that that's very exciting um, because Austin historically is not an automotive centric kind of city, uh, but but now fast forward you know 20 years now we have. Lotus is looking at potentially relocating to the North America headquarters, Dakota, the McClellan's uh, in, in Dallas. Um, you know, GM has one of the five design centers in, in around Austin also. Um, and lastly, we want to talk a little bit about, this is a little passion project of mine called Our Hub ATX. Um, it was, it started as a 45,000 square foot, uh, you know, uh, Probably on you know, 1980s building on three acres off of I-35, um, one exit from downtown Austin. Uh, and my 
initially I was interested in creating a little bit like Canopy in East Austin uh, for the makers community and, and artists. Um, but it, it sort of quickly got out of control. It, we have about 140 artists in there. So now it's one of the largest um, artist studios in Texas. And, and also, it, it's, it's kind of like a WeWork slash Capital Factory slash Now Work. So we have filmmakers, we have uh, tech startups, we have a lot of artists, traditional artists, art professors, musicians. Um, it's a very vibrant kind of place. And I think it's a it doesn't really exist, and it's, you know, I think there are lots of creative people who come from a, a tech background, and they're, um, you know, they're, they're, some, they're looking for something um, beyond technology, and so, um, so we're about to, so, so there's an Austin Studios tour coming up uh, next, uh, in November, we'll see maybe about three, four thousand people come through the space. Um, and um, yeah, that's it.